Hello, Mile and fifth graders. Oh, wait. We don't need this. We're not together. Welcome, Mile and fifth graders and families. I know this is not the promotion that we were expecting, but life has a way of giving us the unexpected. And that's when we can use our studio habits of mind to turn it into something amazing, like our first virtual promotion. Fifth graders, life is gonna to continue to give you the unexpected, but you're lucky. You'll be able to use your studio habits of mind to transform a not so great experience into a great experience. It's like having superpowers. What? You don't believe the studio habits of mind are superpowers? Let me explain. Say you're working to develop your craft on a writing assignment or a challenging project, and you engage and persist. You get through it. You complete the task. The other side, you're smarter. You've learned something new. And your confidence is stronger because you know you tackled a difficult task and you succeeded. You built new muscles. You're stronger. Strength is a superpower. X-ray vision, another superpower. If you're out in the world and you observe what's going on around you and you reflect on it, you really think about what you're seeing and hearing and try to understand it. You're gonna see your way through that problem, through any situation, to new solutions, to new possibilities. I've already seen all of you do this. Over the years you've been at Myelin School, you've come to me with new ideas, new insights into problems that I didn't maybe know how to solve. And you came up with ideas that I didn't come up with. So for that, I thank you. And my favorite superpower, flight. You've learned to express your ideas through your words, your actions, and your wonderful artwork. You've also learned to envision what you want. You combine expressing and envisioning your dreams. It's gonna help you to take flight and carry you to new places and new possibilities that maybe right now you can't imagine but you will. Strength, x-ray vision, flight, all superpowers, all achievable because you have the studio habits of mind. They're always there. They'll always be with you. You just have to remember to use them. It's been my honor to be your principal and I am so hopeful about the future knowing that you will all be leading us there. I love you and congratulations. Fifth graders and families of fifth graders, congratulations, you made it. We all made it. I was thinking of how our time together was coming to an end and I started to feel really sad because I know that I will miss you guys so much. But then as I reflected upon our past two years, I realized that I am actually very lucky and that we are all very lucky because we did have this time together. We learned so much in the classroom and that goes beyond adding fractions with unlike denominators or finding the main idea of a nonfiction text. We learned about friendship and tolerance and compassion and kindness. And we learned how to celebrate creativity. So for all of this, I am very grateful. And room 24, thank you. Thank you, class. Congratulations to the promoting students of the 2020 school year. We are so incredibly proud of you. Thank you for taking on this new adventure and learning with us and showing us that you will be just fine in your transition. Thank you to all the parents who've become teachers and help guide their students through this transition. 
Thank you to Ms. Beck and Mr. Kelly and all the staff at Maya Lynn for helping cultivate smart and creative critical thinkers. And thank you to Ms. Goodwin for making Maya Lynn a great school to learn at. Again, fifth graders, I am so proud of you and I cannot wait to hear all the wonderful things you've done in the future. Hello, fifth graders and loved ones. Congratulations on making it to this stage in your life. It did not come without effort. I would like to start by thanking the PTA and parents for all your hard work throughout the years. Not only the support in our classrooms, but also everything you do for our students outside the room and especially at home where it can be very tough. Thank you. I would also like to thank Ms. Goodwin, Ms. Spells, and Ms. Beck and the rest of the Mylan staff. The amount of effort you put forth to educate and support our students is impossible to quantify. And as colleagues, you are second to none. I feel very lucky to be part of such an amazing team. Thank you. And now to our fifth graders. You are amazing. You did it. You finished your elementary schooling. It is now your time, like so many before you, to move on to sixth grade, to start over in a new place and make your own path through it. While this might seem scary, it shouldn't. This is something you have done many times before, so you know you can do it again. Let me give you some examples so that you can understand what I'm talking about. First, you were born. That was your very first start. And since then, as I'm sure your parents can attest, you have been making your own path. Most of you attended some sort of preschool. This would be another new start. You ate glue. You learned to use the potty and got ready for your next start, kindergarten. Six amazing years later, here we are, ready for your next beginning, middle school. You are ready. You are able. The question you face is, are you willing? If you choose to face the challenges, do the work and put in the time, you will be successful. It won't always be easy. You might have to sacrifice fun from time to time, but know this, you can do it. I leave you with two things. First, your last assignment as a teacher at Maya Lynn School before Ms. Goodwin officially promotes you. Your last assignment is to come back to Maya Lynn when life is back to normal and give your teachers a proper goodbye hug that we didn't get to have on the last day of school. And, this, and lastly, this quote, imagine with all your mind, believe with all your heart, achieve with all your might. Thank you and congratulations. Hi, fifth grade, it's Ms. Moore. And I'm just here to wish you guys a happy graduation and just to say a few words about you guys as a class. And I wanted to say how lucky I feel to have taught you. You are just an amazing group, really, truly. I have missed you a lot. I have cried actual tears when I realized I wasn't going to get to teach you again because in person because you're just so great. You're really wonderful. And I wanted to say I'm excited for you to be graduating and moving forward. You as a class have just such a wealth of creativity and um, I'm excited to see where that takes you in the next part of your school life and your life life. And I wanted to talk a little bit about um, a certain studio habit of mine, envisioning. And to envision, as you know, means to imagine what's not there or to imagine the future, what's coming. So because you guys are so wonderful and creative, I know that you are going to imagine and then create a better and wonderful world for um, yourselves, for each other, and for all of us. Because that's what we really need right now. And I feel confident knowing that you guys are the future. So the future looks bright because the future is you. So congratulations to the fifth grade. Have a wonderful summer. I miss you terribly and uh, keep in contact with me. You can always email me. I love you. Congratulations. Bye. 
I will miss my teachers, my friends, when I move to middle school. I look forward to learning new things and to knowing more teachers and friends. Thanks, Miss Bells, and my friends for helping me along. Dear teachers and friends, because of COVID-19, we have to do this virtual graduation. I wish that I could be at school with you guys and giving the speech to my teacher, friends, and family. I would like to thank Ms. Beck for teaching me all I need to know and my parents for bringing me here to learn. When I was in little, when I was little, I always wanted to be in fifth grade. Now here I am in fifth grade and going on to six. It will look like a scrambled Rubik's Cube, so I have to look forward to middle school and hope to solve that Rubik's Cube. I would like to say thank you to all the people who helped me on the way, like Mr. Dodson, Miss Lucy, Mr. Gerhardt's, Miss Beck, and Miss Goodwin. These are the people who helped me on almost every day to this very moment. Looking back, it's been all so short. But even then, that little time I was here, these years have been some of the best years to spend my time in. I'm supposed to say goodbye, but I know I'll see you again. And I know I speak for everyone when I say we don't need to take big steps. They just need to be in the right direction. I am so grateful to be able to go to my LM. I'd like to thank our teachers. You've been our greatest allies during this time, but it's a shame we won't get to beat you in the kickball game this year. I'd like to thank our amazing principal, Ms. Goodwin. You've been my principal for the past six years, and I've had some of the best experiences of my life at your school, so thank you so much for everything. Last but not least, I would like to thank the Milan class of 2020. I know it's been a hard year for all of us, and you've been such great classmates. I am so grateful to be able to go to Milan, and I'm looking forward to what the future will hold. I'm going to miss everyone at Milan so much, and thank you. May I just say thank you to all my teachers who made this year the best. Thank you to all my friends who support me. Thank you to our principal, and thank you to everyone who made this year the best. We all struggled through quarantine, and I miss all my peers and educators. Thank you, Myelin School, for being here, standing strong together. I know I won't be here next year, but Myelin holds a special place in my heart along with my teachers, friends, and everyone else at this school. Thank you, Mylan. I began in Mylan as a transitional kindergartner and as an English learner student. From the moment I stepped my foot in Mylan, I knew I found my second home. I'm always excited to go to school. In fact, I just want to live here. My life has been fun, cool, and memorable because of you, my teachers. Miss Loam, Miss Weiss, Miss Sanchez, Miss Eichel, Mr. Dodson, Miss Mills, Mr. Elgott, Miss Moore, and to my PE teachers. And to my dearest fourth and fifth grade teacher, Mr. Kelly. Thank you for all the wonderful and meaningful time I had with you. And to the rest of the administrators, Miss Wiley and Principal Goodwin, thank you for sharing your time, talent with us. To my parents and family, thank you for all the love and understanding. And to my fellow fifth graders, happy fifth grade promotion! We did it! Time flies by so quickly, right over all of our heads, so fast that we can't grasp it. But what we can grasp is the trail of memories time leaves behind. It's strange to think about how the first day of elementary school was six years ago, when it feels like it was just yesterday. Looking back on things like this can bring tears to eyes, smiles to faces, or even both at the same time. I'll miss violence so much, and it will be hard to let it all go. And even though things are changing, I'll never stop feeling so grateful for all the wonderful times I've had here. Thank you for these beautiful memories. These are the memories I'm keeping with me. We must accept the end of something in order to begin to build something new. Anonymous. These few years at my own school have been far better years than some at elementary schools I have spent time in prior to this one. I've met new people, new adults, and all for the better. When I came here, midway through third grade, this place amazed me, and it still does. 
I wish all schools were as good as this one. I like that this school actually had an art class. None of the other schools I have gone to had an art class. Farewell and joy be to you all. Stranger to the dark Hide away, they say Cause we don't want your broken parts I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars Run away, they say No one will love you as you are But I won't let them break me down to dust I know that there's a place for us For we are the Wanna cut me down? I'm gonna send a blood, gonna drown a mind. I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. And I'm marching on to the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. Wanna cut me down I'm gonna send a blood 
Hello, wonderful fifth graders. I just wanted to pop on and say congratulations. I am so proud of you all. I've loved getting to interact with you all over the years. Um, some of you are siblings, the kids I've had. I love doing the talent show with a lot of you and it's been great being reading buddies with um, all of you in Ms. Beck's class. So I am really excited to see what you do next. You guys are all so incredibly creative and innovative and I know that no matter what happens, you guys are going to do amazing things in middle school and beyond. So we'll miss you at Myelin and we love you so much. Have a wonderful summer. Hello, Myelin fifth graders. This is Miss Roberts. I just wanted to say congratulations and best of luck in middle school and beyond. I know you will go on to do great things. Bye. Hi, Myelin fifth graders. Congratulations on your incredible accomplishment. We are all so proud of you at Myelin, and we know that you will continue to make us proud as you move on in your education. We miss you, we love you, and we are so looking forward to hearing all of the ways that you choose to represent us as you move forward. Take care and don't ever forget to use that voice to fight for what you know is right and good in the world. Hi, wonderful fifth graders. I just wanted to say that it's been so great to watch you guys grow, even when you were young, kindergarten and first grade, we could tell that you were going to be people who were going to change the world. And look at you now, so grown up and ready to be out there in middle school. I hope that you'll come back and visit us so that we can continue to watch you grow into the wonderful people that you are becoming. We'll miss you, really. Come back and visit us. Hi, Myelin, fifth graders. I just wanted to wish you um, uh, congratulations from Miss Y. And I know that it's a very quiet time, but I wanted to read you one of my favorite quotes from Malala Yousafzai. She says, when the whole world is silent, even one voice becomes powerful. So in this unusual time of quiet, don't underestimate the power each one of you has in your voice. Congratulations. Hello, my Lynn fifth graders. I wanted to send you a graduation message. This is not quite the ending we had planned, right? For your last few months of school, after six years of hard work in elementary school. Well, no matter what, you're graduating. No matter what, you're moving to sixth grade. And we just appreciate your resiliency, your creativity, your ability to stay positive through all of this. Um, we love you and we give you so much support with your next stage of your life. And we're so proud of you. So please um, know that we're with you in this journey. You can always come back and visit. We hope you do. We'll still be here for you. Okay, so congratulations and good luck. <laughs> Everybody, this is Miss Amador. I'm wishing everybody a wonderful and safe summer. Stay healthy. We had a good year at school and I'm gonna miss all of you over the summer. Um, and to the fifth graders, I know you're gonna be the best sixth graders they ever had. You've learned so much and you're such good kids. Um, so I'm sending you um, a hug peace sign and an air kiss. I love you. Take care. Congratulations, Maya Lynn, fifth grade class of 2020. You did it. We are so incredibly proud of you and all that you've done in your time here at Maya Lynn School. Um, I've been asked to give some advice moving forward. And I think um, if I could travel back in time to fifth grade, Mr. Dotson, I would say, 
Brian, I know that you can't smell you, but we can all smell you. You stink. Put on some deodorant. So that's my advice to you moving forward. Always make sure you're putting on deodorant. Um, in all seriousness, we love you. We miss you already. We are so proud of everything that you've done. Um, and we cannot wait for you to go forward into the world and represent Myelin School. Come back and visit us. Um, and I can't wait to see all the wonderful things that you do. We'll see you soon. Congratulations, fifth graders, on this milestone. I look forward to seeing you at Myelin when you visit, when schools are open again. Hello, graduating fifth graders. Congratulations. I am so excited for you. Um, you are a very special group to me. I taught many of you third grade and every day you made me smile. I loved that year and I loved being with all of you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful summer. I hope you have a wonderful time in middle school. You're gonna learn so many great things. And please, please come back to visit, okay? Love to you all. Take care. Hi, fifth graders. Congratulations on uh, your promotion from Myelin. Um, we wish you all the best of luck in middle school and we'll miss you so much. Um, and remember that you're always a part of the Myelin Wolf Pack. Congratulations, fifth grade. Well done. Gonna miss our wolves, but we know you're ready to go out and be in the middle school world. Congratulations. Don't forget to visit. Can't believe it. You guys are taking off. Uh, look, all of you are superheroes for real. Uh, you have wonderful things inside of you. And please, please share those things with the world. I also have a very, very important message. Some of my former students may remember this message. I'm going to share it with you now. Let me just make sure I have it set. Come by and visit anytime you want to, okay? Hi, wonderful fifth graders. Uh, it's Miss Greenberg here. I did not have the pleasure of having you as my students because I was new to Myelin this year, but I wanted to come and wish you so much luck going into middle school. Um, I'm sure that this is not how you imagined your fifth grade year ending, but you have so many people sending you virtual hugs and congratulations today and so many people supporting you. And from everything I have seen and heard, you are an amazing group of students and you're gonna do incredibly well in middle school. It's gonna be an adventure and I'm excited to hear back from you and find out what you guys are up to. So I'm giving you air fist bumps today. When I'm off camera, I'll do some high kicks and twirls in celebration for you, but I'm not doing those on camera. <laughs> um, have a wonderful day, have an amazing summer and just know that you have lots of virtual support and people cheering you on. Congratulations, you've worked hard, you deserve this. Hi everyone, I just wanted to say it's been wonderful to be your librarian and see you at school. And um, some of my kindergartners are finishing fifth grade at Maya Lynn this year and that's a really big deal. I'm super proud of you all and I can't wait to see what's in store. Hey, fifth grade, Miss Moore, and I'm just here to say congratulations. You're moving on, and um, you guys are great, and I know you're going to do great things going forward, and please come visit me via my email. So you can always email me and send me a hello. I've missed you. I'm happy for you, and um, have a great summer. Congratulations, fifth grade. Hi, everyone. This is Mr. Ergot. Congratulations. You've made it through elementary school. You've survived the fifth grade, and now you're ready for middle school. I know each one of you is going to have a great year next year. I hope that you all stay with music, keep music in your hearts, maybe play an instrument or sing with a choir, and I'll see you around. Bye for now. 
Hi, graduating Maya Lynn fifth graders. It's Ms. Kinsey. I want to congratulate you on your graduation. And I was just thinking what a privilege it has been to get to share so many stories with you over the years. Some of you I started off at LUM with and you were kindergartners. So we've had a lot of great years together and I will treasure all the memories of all of the stories we've gotten to share together and all the technology we've learned about together. Best of luck in middle school and please always remember, think before you post. Come back and see us. Hello, fifth graders, Miss Mendez here. I have a little poem for you as you head off to middle school. It's called The Time You Spent. Elementary school came, elementary school went. It's worth a lot the time you spent. Congratulations are now due to the fifth grade graduate special you. I really enjoyed teaching you PE this year and getting to know all of the fifth graders, even if I didn't have you for PE. I'm wishing you good luck for middle school and have a great summer. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Miss Kathy here. I just wanna give a big congratulations to the 2020 graduates. You did it. You are on your way to sixth grade. Congrats, guys. Hey, fifth graders. Congratulations, you're off to middle school. Don't forget to look both ways, back at your memories and forward at your bright futures. Hello students, this is Miss Noel. Congratulations to Mylan School Class of 2020. Woohoo! It has been a privilege and honor to have known you and to see you grow from kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade. Have a great summer, be safe, be healthy, this is not goodbye, but we'll see you later. Take care. Hi, my only fifth graders. I'm Miss Fratto, one of the PE teachers. I just wanted to congratulate you on your fifth grade promotion and wish you the best in middle school. Take care. Hi, all you amazing fifth graders. It's been a real pleasure and joy to work with you this year. I'm really excited for the new chapter that's coming in your lives and Please take care of yourselves, and I wish you nothing but the best. Good luck to you, and we will miss you. Congratulations, fifth graders, for promoting to middle school. I am so proud of you, and especially congratulations to Kaden and Johnson, who did great work in my class, and I'm very, very proud of you. I hope that you come back and see all of us at Maya Lynn, and I hope you have a wonderful summer. Congratulations, fifth graders. You made it. You're done with elementary school. We are so proud of you. And to my class specifically, I will miss you so much. These last two years have been amazing. We laughed together, we cried together, and we certainly learned a ton from each other. Thank you so much and good luck next year. All right, Mylan fifth graders, the time has come. I hope you have your envelope, it contains your certificate of promotion. Go ahead and open that up. Now as principal of Mylan School and a representative of the Alameda Unified School District, I proudly promote you to the sixth grade. Woo! Fifth graders, thank you for all that you have contributed to our school. We love you and wish you the best of luck.